He's not a rebel or a traitor, they chant. In the middle of a busy road, a crowd of supporters of jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan protest against alleged electoral fraud. Despite a harsh crackdown on them, candidates backed by his PTI party are now the largest group in parliament. But they believe they've been unfairly prevented from winning an outright majority. I've been robbed. I was ahead in the count. To prevent me gathering proof, police took everything away from us and arrested my polling agents. Some other PTI-backed candidates have gathered documents which appear to show they won their seats when they were declared to have lost them. As the crowd crossed the road towards the office of the returning officer, the police suddenly move in. They detain a number of protesters. The state, it seems, is in no mood for compromise. Police even puncture the tires of one supporter's car. That police charge just came out of nowhere and now the protesters have completely disappeared. But the anger amongst Imran Khan supporters, that's not going to be quite so easy to dissipate. The candidate, Shahzad Farooq, was taken away in a police van. Police told us it was because they were blocking the road. In the centre of Lahore today, a huge security force presence. The PTI had initially called for protests here before switching focus to localised demonstrations, claiming infiltrators were planning to stage violent unrest. Rival party, the Pakistan Muslim League, led by former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, do also have some genuine support, though it's the support of Pakistan's powerful military that led many to expect they would sweep these elections. Instead, they've lagged behind Imran Khan's party. Khan energised voters, particularly from Pakistan's middle class. Many now have been left deeply disillusioned. I don't feel that freedom at all. I mean, what I feel or what I want to say, I'm not, you know, allowed to say that. If I say what I believe or what I think, I'll be, you know, behind the bars. We just want, like, justice here in Pakistan. We should live, like, we should be proud of what is Pak what we live in Pakistan and we should be proud of. But till here, till now, we, like, we haven't felt like that. Pakistani politics is a colourful but murky business. From his prison cell, Imran Khan is hoping the candidates he backed can somehow form a government. But they were forced to run as independents, and his rivals are trying to lure them over. We met Wasim Qadir, celebrating his victory on Friday, proudly wearing Khan's party's colours. This was him today, alongside Nawaz Sharif's daughter. Was he offered a carrot or threatened with a stick? Nawaz Sharif and his allies are attempting to form a coalition government. They insist the elections were fair, but few here have faith in their words or the state of this democracy.